How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to the complete beginner's guide here in Fishing Planet. We continue our Europe trip today with Tiber River in Italy. This is a cool, cool lake guys. There's lots of different species of fish here. There's trout, perch, uh, catfish, there's eel, there's carp. There's all sorts of different types of stuff in this river and it's a very, very cool place to just kind of go around, walk the river and fish. But in today's episode, we're going to go and just catch everything, finish the missions, and then get out of there. So what we're going to be doing is bringing our two carp rods like we did in the last episode. We're going to be bringing our two bottom rods like we did in the last episode. We are also going to be bringing our jig winner, and then we're also going to be bringing our River Tech Zeus. Now, in terms of baits and stuff, it's all like it has been throughout the course of this series. We're bringing a bunch of different hook sizes. So if you want to pause the video, take a look at what hook sizes I'm bringing. This is what I'm going to be using. And then for baits, I'm bringing the exact same stuff as last time. Same with our lures. I'm bringing the exact same things as last time. Really, there's not a whole lot that we're going to be bringing that we don't already have. So we can just pretty much head there. So make sure you grab an advanced license and I'll see you guys in Tiber. Caught the Crucian Carp. I did go to a different spot. The bridge spot really didn't work out for me too well. So I moved down to Western Tiber here. And if you read the description here, it does have a lot of these fish in there. This would be a half decent location for a lot of these fish. So we're going to keep fishing here. I got semolina balls on one. I got uh, blood worms on the other, I think. Uh, just, you know, normal baits that we've been using throughout the course of this series here to catch a lot of these smaller fish. And there we go, we got the European perch in the same spot. At, there we go, we got another European perch, so it is a decent spot for them as well. And there we go, same spot, and we got the nice common roach as well. We just need to grab the bitterling and the chub, and then we are good to go with the first part of the exploration mission here. There's a lot of species to catch, so it's going to take us a while, but we just need to grab these last two. And there we go, we got the European bitterling as well, but this time we were using the bloodworms. Now we just need to catch the chub and we are good to go. So guys, same spot. This time I put on some dragonflies. Crickets will work as well and so will mayflies. That should get the job done for the chub. We're going to start off with the Tiber Trout. So let's head on over to Streaming Beauty. This is a really, really good trout spot. We're just going to come right over to this area right here. Now, if you guys have seen my Tiber video, you will recognize this spot because this is where I caught like every single one of my trout here. So what we're going to do is set up our rods for trout. So let's just throw on, I don't know, let's do uh, one odd. So I set my rods up. I got one with mayflies and I got one with dragonflies. And all we're going to do is just cast anywhere in this general area right here will be perfectly fine. And then while we're doing that, we're also going to be using our spinning rod. Just use whatever you'd like. Anything for trout will work. Whatever you guys want to use at this point, it doesn't really matter. Nothing specific. Just as long as it works for trout, it should be good. So maybe even like a barbless spoon or a spinner or whatnot. We're just going to cast here and should be good to go. There we go. Our first fish, we get a Creek Brown Trout. There we go. We got the Trophy European Grayling on the Barbless Narrow Spoon. We just need the Brown Trout and the Marble Trout and we are good to go. And there we go. We got the nice Marble Trout. What a beautiful looking fish. One more trout left to go. Hopefully this is it right here. And there we go, guys. A nice unique European Brown Trout. Very nice XP and money here with this Jig Winner setup we got. And now we are done the Tiber Trout part. We can go on to the final part, I believe it is. Come back to the bridge and we're going to catch the common barbell just because I caught this when I was fishing here earlier and I know exactly where it is. So let's go ahead and do this right now. I got a marker already set up, so it's going to be nice and easy for us here. I'll show you guys exactly what I caught it with. And there we go, the common barbell with peas. And I was using a number eight hook, so that's what we're going to throw on as well as a number eight hook. And there you go, just like that, you'll grab the common barbell nice and easy. Now, there's a couple different ways you can get to this spot. You can hop in your boat and just come all the way down here, or you can go to the very last spawn point and walk all the way back. Now, the for me, the easiest way is to just hop in the boat, but if you do spawn, you'll be on the other side, and you just got to walk across the bridge and get on over here. And all you're going to do is go right here, and this is where you're going to catch the asp, guys. Throw on some number one hooks and some shiners, and just cast alongside the bridge. You should be good to go, and you'll get the asp here relatively quickly. And there we go. We have the asp done and finished. We just need to get the eel, the wells catfish, which are both in the same spot, and we just need to grab the carp. We actually did get a wells catfish out of this spot as well, which is super, super weird. I will show you guys the other spot where I normally catch them. But we did get one just while I was sitting there. Coming down to float and feed our haven. This is where we're going to catch the rest of the fish. I'm going to be using sweet peas and sweet corn on my carp rods here with number one hooks. We're going to be using medium cut bait on both of our bottom rods here with number one hooks as well. This is going to get us the eel, the catfish, 
and the carp. So what we're going to do is cast over here for the carp. Just anywhere around here, honestly, is pretty good. It, there's no specific spot that you really need to, to go after. Uh, I do have a video already for Tiber on catching the unique eel and the catfish, which is this exact same spot. But if you're looking for the unique specifically, I do have a little bit more in-depth methods for that. But basically, all you're going to want to do is just cast over here in this general area. Uh, right where I'm casting here with the bottom rods is where the catfish and the eel are going to spawn. So that's where you want to be casting for those two. And then I just went to the side with the carp rods. And there we go. The first fish is an eel. So we can go ahead and release this. Do not keep it. You're going to get a fine if you do. So go ahead and release that. And there we go. We are done with the eel. Now we just need to work on the carp. And I want to show you guys the catfish. Because you can get the catfish in this spot as well, guys. So don't worry too much. If you don't get one right away, it, it will come. Don't worry about it. Generally, I find the eels are way harder to catch anyway. So I got a little bit lucky, but that's just the way she goes sometimes. And I'll just set a marker just so you guys kind of have a visual representation of where to cast here. So there you go. Just around there. It's about 31 meters out. I'll try and remember to throw a conversion up for you guys. But if not, just Google the conversion if I do forget. And of course, now that I say that I'm going to get back to back eels. So we're going to go and up the hook size here. Make sure we can get one of these wells catfish done a little bit quicker than this. And there we go, guys. I threw on some large cut bait and we got the wells catfish. So this is the spot where you're probably going to catch them a little bit more consistently. Though you can catch some small ones all over the place here. Go to the same spot we were just at for the eel and the catfish, guys. Just go to nighttime and then throw on your sweet peas, your corn, whatever you want, whatever carp bait you want. And you'll be able to grab the common carp nice and quickly. And now we are done the exploration here in Tiber. We get some money. We get some line. We are good to go. We only have three places left in Europe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you guys later.